Is it illegal to use an anti-material rifle on soldiers? Well, they're a high-caliber weapon usually designed to take out light armored vehicles, military equipment, or even aircraft. They usually start at 50 cal, but can go all the way up to the likes of the 20 millimeter Anzio Vulcan. You can legally own that in the US, by the way. Now, a lot of people think they're illegal to use on soldiers. So are they right? Well, there's two main bits of the Geneva Convention that dictate whether a weapon is illegal to use in war or not. The first states you're prohibited to employ weapons that cause unnecessary suffering or long-term severe damage to the environment. This includes the likes of muscle gas or biological weapons. The second states you can't use weapons that aren't or can't be directed at specific military objectives, such as cluster bombs. Now, an anti-material rifle is specifically designed to be very good at precisely hitting military targets. In fact, 9 out of the top 10 longest sniper kills used an anti-material rifle, so nothing illegal there. <laughs> But does it cause unnecessary suffering? Well, first, when it's used on a person, it's designed to kill, not cause suffering. In fact, because it's more powerful and therefore more lethal than, say, a M62 weapon, you could argue it's less likely to cause suffering. God damn.